Hey, how's it going guys? This is Crafty Fox, and today I'm going to be showing you how to make the New York City R33 Redbird subway car. So this is a retired subway car, no longer serves anymore. Uh, most of them have been sent to the bottom of the Atlantic Ocean uh, for use in coral reefs, but there are still some around as, uh, I believe, work trains, or you can find it on the train of many colors, or in the museum, like in Queens, I believe, you can find one of them, which I actually did see in real life. Uh, but yeah, this is a pretty famous model, I believe. Um, if you're into subway cars, you probably know uh, what this is. So this served on the A Division, and um, I decided to make a 10-car train set. So that's how long uh, you would make it. And they're basically like the same exact car, paced like 10 times, so you don't have to like uh, rotate it around 180 degrees back to back. So um, yeah, let's get started on this build. So we're going to use the standard gauge track and it's four blocks wide So it's going to be on one side Just be aware of that. So to make the first car, let's take um, gray concrete Let's place that two blocks above the tracks two blocks wide in the middle and then we're going to make it uh, 23 blocks long so 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 16 17 18 19 21, 2, 2, 2, 3. And we're making it two blocks wide. And once we're done with that, we could take another uh, brick slabs and add it to the sides. Uh, the front part is going to be eight blocks long. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Then the other side, do the same thing. While the back is going to be a little bit shorter. It's going to be only uh, seven, so one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Same thing over here, and then we're going to add in uh, the bogies or the trucks. And one person got mad. <laughs> I called them bogies. They thought trucks was the only name you could use for this. So we're going to place uh, two hoppers down there, and then a two by two, I believe. Yeah, two by two nether brick slab, and then hoppers in the front. Go to the front and do the same thing. So just give a block, hoppers, two by two, nether brick slab, and then hoppers again. So then we're gonna take nether brick stairs, add one upside down here. And next to it, a gray concrete block. Go to the back, add two gray concretes. Then for the other side, we're gonna add um, nether brick stairs, upside down, two of them. Nether brick slab, one in the back, and then two more nether brick stairs upside down. And the middle of that is going to be three bedrock blocks, so one, two, three. The other side, skip one block away from here, add two bedrocks, and then add uh, upside down acacia wood stairs here with an acacia wood slab in that corner. So yeah, that's it for the bottom part. And now let's add in this coupling. So we're gonna take uh, another brick slab, add one around like that. Next door is a double one. So that's the actual coupling. And we're gonna try to line that up the other side. So then we're gonna have, um, let's use red terracotta. And let's make this section four blocks long. So one, two, three, four. The other side, I think it's only two, so two. Then this back section, I'm going to add four. One, two, three, four. This side, two. Then we're going to skip two blocks and then add um, five or six. I think six, so skip two. Add six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Then skip two, add six again. One, two, three, four, five, six. And apparently that's five, so <laughs> just change that up a little bit. Then this side, it is skip to add five. One, two, three, four, five. Then we're going to skip to add six. Two, three, four, five, six. All right, cool. So now we're going to go to the front and make the right hand side a two by two of red terracotta. Go to the other side, and this time we're going to have to add one like that, and then two up like that, so it's L shape. 
All right, so then we're gonna have um, another brick fences, two in the front, and two on the other side, just to go connect the cars together up. Uh, we're also gonna have um, gray concrete, four blocks wide in the front and the back. Even though I did the back first. <laughs> so then we're gonna have um, this uh, black stained glass block right here with a black stained glass pane behind it. I'm going to go to the other side and do the same thing. Right, cool. So then we're going to have an iron door and just place that on the inside of this. Like that. Go to the front and add an iron door like one block or two blocks inward so that we can place this. Uh, iron bars inside just to cover up that door. So then we're going to take out our stone buttons, add two on the top corners, and one on the bottom where the red is. Same thing on the other side. Then we're going to add a sign right there, and a sign in the front as well towards the right. Then we're going to have uh, red concrete, add a layer like right over here to the sides. Then the other side, same thing. Then we're going to take another uh, brick slabs and add two in the middle, both sides. And take our light gray carpet, add two in the corners. For all of them with a uh, gray carpet in the middle that's going to be where the vents are on top and right over here as well so for the actual roof it's it's just like stone slab so it's like a stone slab you just go across two blocks wide So once we're done with the roof, sorry, can't control my keyboard because my AK is sort of messed up right now. All right, so now we're going to take iron doors and add in all our double doors like this on the side. So there should be three pairs of doors on each side, and that's typical of the A division. And there you notice they're not aligned, which I think it's like that in real life. All right, so then we're going to have... Um, Red terracotta inside that hole right there. And let's add red terracotta behind this glass pane. Go to the other side. Do the same thing. Alright, so then we're going to have red terracotta pillars next to all the doors. So just add that right now. And except like the ones towards um, this window, we're going to have clay block inside. That's just for the MTA logo. Okay, probably on this side, it's a little bit different. So that that is a bit of an oddity, but let's just do that. Right, Terracotta. All right, so now we're going to have um, black stained glass block, three blocks wide. Uh, just placing these windows in the front. And for the back section, we're going to make uh, this pillar a bit wider with uh, red concrete. And then add in three block wide windows. Alright, so it's coming along nicely. Now let's add um, a sign like that in the front and one in the back. That's just for like uh, what car number it is. They usually have signs on the sides of that. So for the last step, we're going to go to the front and add an item frame like that with a magenta stained glass pane inside or whatever color you want to use. Uh, so yeah, that's pretty much it on how to build the R33 uh, subway car. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you do, please hit that like button below. 
and subscribe if you haven't already because I will be uploading more videos like this in the future and I will see you guys next time. Bye.